Good afternoon, good evening. I am your host, Data T of the Good Guys channel. I'm going to be bringing you two stories today. The first comes out of Austin, Texas. The title reads, Victim Shoots Robbery Suspect at the Domain. Austin Police Say, I Believe the Domain is Some Type of Mall. Let's dive into this story. Maine in North Austin now facing charges for trying to rob someone. Police say the suspect then got into a car. The 17-year-old drove a short distance before someone called 911 to get him medical help. According to an affidavit, officers charged Jalen Reed with aggravated robbery. Now the victims told police they were walking in the parking lot of Neiman Marcus. They said that's when a person approached them with his T-shirt off and wrapped around his face armed with a handgun, demanding their bags. But police say one of the robbery victims also had his own concealed weapon. Investigators say one of the victims shot Reed when he was getting in a car that pulled up. The driver pulled over nearby to call medics, and that's when police found stolen goods in the car. Okay, so what happens here is people are minding their business, they're shopping, and some joker wrapped around with a t-shirt over his head decides to rob these individuals. Uh, what we commonly see from most uh, self-defense shootings is you're going to be off guard. So you have to wait your turn. So in doing so, when this particular person uh, robbed these individuals, the victim did not fire until the other person got into the vehicle and this is allowed this is self-defense and i guess when they found him he had all these stolen goods on him and how much you want to bet this guy probably has a record and he's probably done this before Police pulled surveillance video from stores in the area to back up the victim's version of these events. The affidavit says Reed has a, quote, extensive criminal history of aggravated robbery. He was ordered by the court to wear an ankle monitor, but somehow had it removed. APD said Reed is the suspect in multiple robberies that have happened over the last... ...last several weeks. Hyundai Santa Fe. So, if you hear that, um, yes, I was correct. He had multiple. Um, <laughs> every every one of these guys has a record. Let's go to the next story. Uh, we're probably going to see the same thing. This is probably a little bit different. Okay, this happened in Oklahoma City. Okay, and its title reads: Southwest Oklahoma City Hotel Clerk claim self-defense in overnight shooting. Let's see what happened in this story. Hotel clerk fearing for his life shoots a man demanding a free room. The shooting happened outside the Travelers Inn on the city's southwest side. News 9 crime tracker Jennifer Pierce has details on the frightening confrontation. Jen. Carl, the front desk clerk, told officers he believed the man was on drugs and says he shot him in self-defense. He says the unwanted customer also threatened to beat and kill him. This was the scene outside the Traveler's Inn near I-40 and MacArthur early Tuesday morning. While police questioned the 69-year-old hotel employee, paramedics loaded 38-year-old William Carter into an ambulance to be taken to the hospital. They made contact with one person who had a non-life-threatening uh, gunshot wound to the shoulder. The front desk clerk told police Carter was attempting to kick in one of the hotel room doors. The employee told Carter to leave, but instead says Carter demanded a free room. The male became very confrontational with the employee, uh, made some threats to the employee. The clerk told officers he called the business's security company and went back to see if Carter left. Witnesses told the employee Carter was still on property. According to the report, Carter ran at the man coming within feet of him and threatened his life. So let me just stop it here. Um, what we see here is 
the hotel employee who was 69 years old, uh, it looks like he made many attempts uh, not to use his firearm. Calling the police, calling security. Um, I guess the security didn't show up. And this victim, or, you know, using his firearm, um, he felt threatened for his life. Uh, this guy was trying to break into a room. He demanded a room. He threatened to kill him. And it looked like the guy was on drugs. How much you want to bet that this guy probably also has a record? Um, guys, this just reinforces why you need to carry a firearm. Let's see what the rest of the story says. The employee told police he was in fear for his life and fired at Carter several times. Witnesses confirmed they heard four gunshots and several hotel guests say they heard the confrontation between Carter and the employee. The shooter has not been arrested up to this point. That'll be up to the DA to decipher if uh, any charges will be given. And Carter was arrested and booked into jail on outstanding fraud warrants after he was treated and released from the hospital. Reporting live at police headquarters, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9. So this individual, <laughs> he did have multiple warrants that says for fraud. But imagine if this employee did not have his firearm. To protect himself uh, guys so if we look at both of these cases majority of them uh, they happened at a particular time one during the day one overnight uh, you never know when you're going to have to defend yourself this is why you always have it and this is why this reinforces why you as a citizen are allowed to carry a firearm um, anytime I look at these cases guys it just always reinforces why you should carry and if these guys did not do that where would they be they may be gone so um, what do you guys think uh, leave a comment on the way out guys I've and leave a like on the way out I'd appreciate it and remember if good men do nothing there will be no good guys mm -hmm.